Welcome to Uncaged. Today we are speaking with Dr. Amos Dare. Dr. Dare is a practicing neurosurgeon, but he is also one of the creators of the MedMatch Network, which is an AI-powered platform for patient engagement, coordination of care, and interoperability. Amos, tell us a little bit about you and your career. Ben, thank you very much for inviting me on the show. Uh, I, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, my name is Amos Dare. Uh, I am a neurosurgeon by training, and I've practiced medicine for close to 25 years. Um, I'm blessed to have the unique opportunity to help people, really. I was born in Africa. Uh, I came to the United States when I was 18 years old on a scholarship and went to medical school and the residency. After 15, 17 years, I became a doctor. Uh, I enjoy taking care of patients and uh, I also have a bit of a technology background and that's really what's brought me to a, a crossroad today. So, I mean, you look far too young, Dr. Dare, to have been practicing for that long, but <laughs> clearly you're doing something right. People need to listen to you on all medical advice. But so Amos, tell me a little bit now about what you're building here with the MedMatch Network. Yes. Um, as I was practicing again with uh, a technology background, um, I started experiencing this problem with my practice uh, where we were using outdated technologies such as fax, uh, paper, and even pencil to coordinate our, uh, the care of our patients. And I looked around and we had a lot of cloud-based technology. I mean, we were booking restaurants, booking flights, canceling and rescheduling. And I said, why don't we have something that can help us manage our patients more uh, efficiently, excuse me, because it was costly. It was costly for the providers. It was costly for the patients. I saw a lot of frustrated patients in my office. Uh, as a specialist, I will be in the office and ask patients, why are you here? And like, oh, I don't know, my, my doctor sent me. And where are your records? Uh, they are nowhere to be found. That costs delay. And again, that can get very frustrating. So that's how I, myself, and a few other engineers got together to create MedMatch Network. That's great. And so MedMatch now is supporting people in this regard. And you're highlighting a huge customer need, as well as, I'd say, a practitioner need, which is a better way to coordinate really visits and follow up, et cetera. Certainly, I know that during COVID, I felt that a lot of the usage of this technology has surged forward. But tell me, what are you seeing out there right now? What are customers really gravitating towards and what does the industry really need? Yes, yeah, so COVID was a double-edged sword, right? Um, for all the pain it cost us and the disruption it cost uh, to our normal you know, work uh, flow, but it also allow us to leverage technology, especially remote uh, technology, um, like what we're doing right now, we're doing a, a podcast uh, through uh, computers and remotely doing a lot of work. Patients and the whole uh, 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 of the US, in fact, the entire world, expects now to be able to conduct a some amount of business digitally. Okay, and we're seeing that in healthcare. So digital health transformation, it's a revolution that started before COVID, but was really catapulted by COVID. And we're going to see this as we go forward. Um, and the other exciting news is artificial intelligence. So we are going to see technology shape uh, our workflow, shape how we, we, we do business and how we live our lives uh, going forward. I love the use of these technologies. And it's been an interesting one for me to track because, you know, the Uncaged show, we profile companies from all over the world. And I've seen some amazing advancements in telehealth in other markets around the world. Certainly it's happening here in the U.S. as well, but perhaps in pockets instead of kind of nationally. 
And so I think there's just tremendous opportunity and potential for things like MedMatch. But let me change gears here because, I mean, Dr. Amos Dare, you have gone from being a leading neurosurgeon now to being a tech entrepreneur helping to shape the industry. Tell me, why is this the new passion and why are you focused on this right now? Thank you. That's a good question. And I guess I get asked that a lot. Um, again, I'm a neurosurgeon and my passion has always been to take care of patients. And I can do a brain surgery for eight hours or 16 hours and save one life. But when you leverage technology, you can touch thousands of people's lives. And I find myself at a very unique uh, position where as a physician technologist, I really have the opportunity to bridge that gap, right? Leverage technology on improving healthcare access and delivery. So I, I looked around and said, you know, how many Dr. Daris are there that are neurosurgeons that have a, uh, a passion for technology. So I said, you know what? I have to fill this, this, this gap. Um, and I'm not saying I'm the only one, but I saw a unique opportunity to be able to uh, make an impact in my field, in my industry. And this is how I got there. So are you finding that people are using this for all types of medical procedures or are you deeply focused on neurosurgery for this? So interestingly enough, the technology part of it involves a bit of what we call neural networks, right? Where you're connecting the dots. So MedMatch Network is a platform that connects doctors and also other ancillary medical services like diagnostic services, uh, custodial services like nursing homes or radiology and things like that. So that's our platform. And our goal is to be able to allow these folks to communicate easily about their patients and also share records. And more importantly, make sure that scheduling is down right and you, know, you don't delay care. But what we found more recently is that the patient needs to be uh, looped in. And I'm, you know, I, I approached this problem as a physician, right? I wanted to help other doctors to take care of their patients. But uh, I came to the point where I, I was looking at it from the patient side because I was taking care of uh, a loved one. And that changed everything. Uh, as you defined earlier, it's a two-prong uh, you know, issue for providers delivering the care and for patients trying to get the access. So I'm very excited about um, looking at it from the patient's um, uh, access point of view. And uh, that's, that's the next thing for us right now. That's great. I'm very excited to hear that. And I'm excited to see more medical practitioners utilize your solution, your technology, I have to say that one of the amazing things uh, during COVID for me was suddenly a lot of doctors were more flexible on how they approached remote care for various things. And, you know, when your kids get colds and flus, a lot of that stuff is so basic. It's shocking that, you know, uh, in office trips were necessary. Certainly, there are much more complicated procedures that do need more diagnostic tests done that need more in-person visits. But I really am excited about the potential of using technology to reinvent the space. And I guess that kind of leads me into my next question. So, I mean, Dr. Dare, here we are in 2023. And I, I say that it's almost like we're living here in the future. It's such a big number, 2023. <laughs> but, you know, what do you see on the horizon? Well, we are seeing a revolution in every industry using technology, again, to improve workflow, to improve all aspects um, of the industry itself. And we're seeing that also in healthcare specifically. Artificial intelligence in, in healthcare is it's going to be very, it's going to be tremendous. Ourselves, we are already starting to apply that. We are already starting to apply that to personalize patient care. Imagine that, you know, you 
your your personal uh, AI assistant knows everything about you, right? And knows when to call, knows when to check on you, and if you need help, we'll do it for you. It, it, it's it's a personal assistant. Doesn't talk, you know. Only talks when you talk to it. <laughs> I love it. I'm ready for it. Uh, doctor, please build it as soon as possible because we all need it. Yeah, yes, we all we're need gonna, it. We're see that. it. It can be very frustrating from a patient point of view, finding a provider, scheduling the phone tag. Um, you know, God forbid you, you change insurance and you have to find some new primary cares or you relocate it and have to find some providers or even carry your records around your, your I, I hear these stories every day. And that helps me to tailor our application our innovation to solve real patient problems. Um, th there's a lot of movement now for the patient to be able to control their health data and to they own it, they should control it. And that will allow them to get onto what I call the healthcare marketplace where they is looking for insurance or looking for the latest and the greatest advice there to make sure you stay healthy. Um, all those things, I hope to be able to help patients have access to that when they need it, wherever they need it. And uh, th this is the future. This is the future is now. This, this, is, this is, we're starting to apply that now. And uh, on the other side, for the industry and the enterprise, we're going to see the same efficiencies being used to optimize our platforms. You know, it, it takes 30 minutes to do a job that can be done in seconds right now, you know, and we must embrace it. You know, we must embrace it and, and leverage it and use it as a tool. Excellent. Well, listen, I've really enjoyed speaking with you about this. And I think one of the things that resonates for me, doctor, is this idea of one doctor being able to handle a group of patients and helping them out directly. But if we can build better scaled solutions that are more efficient here, we can improve healthcare for everyone. And I think that that's the key goal here that will have a dramatic improvement on the industry. We've been speaking with Dr. Amos Dare. Doctor, where's the best place to reach you if someone wanted to learn more about what you and the MedMatch Network team are doing? Absolutely. Uh, the MedMatch Network uh, site is, is live. So medmatchnetwork.com. Um, I, I mm -hmm. personally have a page there where you can send me a message if you like, or look me up on LinkedIn. Uh, Amos Odari, D-A-R-E, uh, M-D, uh, on LinkedIn, uh, or call the, uh, uh, our office number. It's 305-514-0528. Uh, Excellent. Well, Dr. Amos Dare, it's been amazing speaking with you today. It's been an incredible discussion hearing really from you extending your career outside of being a practitioner, direct practitioner of neurosurgery into building the MedMatch network. And we're excited to see how the company continues to evolve and expand. Thank you so much for being on the Uncaged Show today. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thank you. Bye-bye. 